very good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to this momentous occasion, the inauguration of the batch of 21 to our esteemed faculty. Today, we have gathered here to celebrate the beginning of an incredible journey. As we open our doors to a fresh wave of talent, minds and eager hearts in the vibrant atmosphere filled with anticipation and excitement. We extend our heartfelt uh, greetings to all the new students who have embarked on this journey, on this remarkable voyage of higher education. It is an honor to witness the birth of a new friendship, boundless knowledge, and endless possibilities that will shape their future. As we stand here today, let us take a moment to reflect upon the significance of this event. It marks the culmination of countless hours of hard work and dedication, both by our esteemed faculty and all of you new entrants yourselves. It symbolizes the fusion of dreams and aspirations as they merge within the halls of our prestigious institution. Allow me to assure you that you have chosen wisely by joining our faculty. We have a legacy of excellence fueled by a passion for learning, innovation, and most importantly, growth. Within these halls, you will be nurtured, definitely challenged, and also inspired to unleash your true potential as the faculty opens to you the opportunity of having a wholesome and very well-rounded education. On that note, let us begin the day's formalities by singing the national anthem. Please rise. Yeah. 
a nation built on rituals, rich rituals, traditions, and beautiful cultures. As Sri Lankans, to start off every important occasion, we light an oil lamp to symbolize the light of wisdom, the light of wisdom showering upon the good cause that we are starting. Today, also here, we have gathered to start off such a very important moment. So to light the oil lamp on this prestigious occasion, I most humbly invite the Vice Chancellor of the University of Peradeniya, Professor M.D. Lamavancha, sir. The Deputy Vice Chancellor of this uh, of the University of Peradeniya, Professor Terence Madhujit, Madhu, uh, Madhu sir. The Registrar of University of Peradeniya, the Dean of Faculty of Engineering, Dr. Udaya Disanayaka, sir. The rest of the deans of the University of Peradeniya respect, uh, representing respective faculties. Dr. Janaka Vijay Kulasuriya, the real me coordinator for the batch of 21. Dr. Nadish Adavasam, uh, batch of 21, induction program coordinator. E21, foundation program coordinator. Professor Primal. HODs of the respective departments who are represented here today from the Faculty of Engineering, the Librarian of the University of Peradeniya, Chief Medical Officer of the University of Peradeniya, Director of Accommodation of University of Peradeniya, Chief Marshal Officer of University of Peradeniya. The Students' Union President, Dinukar Disan Ayaka, and some uh, two people from E21 batch representing. I would like to call invite to light the oil lamp. you. Allow me to introduce you to the coordinator of your batch E21, Professor Primal Fernando. He is a senior lecturer at the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Sir, we welcome you on stage to speak to the audience. sorry about that. Before, the, before Professor Primal Fernando um, addresses you, we believe that there can be no better person than our next guest to talk to you about not just the Faculty of Engineering, but about the University of Peradeniya itself. I welcome Professor M. D. Lama Vangsha, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Peradeniya, to address the gathering.
deans of other faculties, senior academic and non-academic staff members, and we have Proctor, and we have Assistant Registrar, Mrs. Rajapaksha, heads of the departments, and several other academics in the audience. And dear students, ladies and gentlemen, I fully endorse what the compeers, your seniors, have told you a little while ago that you have got one of the best opportunities that you can think of in your life. For that, I congratulate you and your parents for the achievements in your life so far. We, as a university, are too pleased with you coming here and seeing new faces and bright future ahead for us at the university and also for you. And it says, welcome to your future. That is what we are doing today. I entered the university back in 1979. Now it is 45 years since I have lived in university environment and largely in four universities throughout, throughout my life. And during this period, we have seen ups and downs and also how students behave, think, and also the evolution of their behavior. And I myself have gone through difficulties and also and we have faced difficulties successfully. That is why we are here today. One thing is sure, however, despite any of the difficulties, challenges you may face, for which you have enough energy and the knowledge and the stamina to battle, you all will become engineers in four years' time. Whether it is this branch, that branch, but you will be engineers. And that is a privilege that you have today. You, while trying to become engineers, unlike in the schools, A level that you had a very competitive examination, and there is no need for us to have any comparison here. Each one of you is excellent inside you. What you need to do is to, without trying to be competitive with the others around you and also within yourself, you try to do your best in a balanced manner. You have well-balanced seniors in this, including in this audience, including your student union leader. And the last week we had some discussions and I saw how his balanced opinion and the way he contributed. You will have many things day in, day out to face, academic challenges. These are related to new environment, new way of learning. And in advanced level for one subject or one area you had three or four inputs from school, tuition masters, and all that. But here, you are unlikely to get that. However, there are seniors and your colleagues and teachers who are approachable for you to clarify any difficult areas. But the learning in the university setting is by and large self-learning, and there is no limit and no syllabus as such, although we have curricula, and for you to limit your education. And whatever the challenges you face, you have now cleared 99% in the path to become an engineer. Only one little percent is there for you to groom yourself during this period. There is, as your compere said, there's plenty of opportunities in this university for you to do that, exactly that. And you have already seen some of the facilities that university has and for effective studying. And you got to 
probably understand the best way of studying. There are academic mentors. Each one of you has been assigned academic mentor, senior, experienced academic, an excellent group of academic that you have, and talk to them. They're approachable. Nowadays, we use emails, WhatsApp, and one teacher told me yesterday that around 12 midnight gets a WhatsApp, Madam, can I meet you tomorrow morning? So she sent the WhatsApp, come at 7.30 and meet me. So there, there are a lot of opportunities for you. You are away from your family. I know how difficult it was for me as a young student, but those days, no WhatsApp, no telephones, nothing. When you leave home, and the parents would know whether you are alive or not when you return home. But you have a lot of opportunities. You will be homesick for some time. But you can be in constant touch with your families, which you must actually do during this transition period. And you have new friends here among seniors. Not only in engineering field, you must establish links with the other colleagues in the co common, not the common rooms, but uh, in the hostels and the playground and wherever you meet them. Sometimes, and uh, some of us, including myself, are a bit reluctant to establish new friendships and have a social life. But you have to break these barriers. And um, three days ago, I was invited to a function in Colombo and organized by a foreign mission. And as I walked in, I, I guess that there would have been some more vice chancellors and academia, but there were about 100 inside, and there was nobody that I knew. I was alone, having a glass of orange, and what am I to do? And at a corner, there was another man sit, standing alone. I thought this is the best way I would go and talk to him. And I said, you are alone. I am also alone. I don't have anybody known in this audience yet. I am so and so. Who are you? So we started chatting. So there are ways and means of doing this one, and we became good friends, senior banker in Colombo. So that there are ways of you adjusting to your new university life. It is very broad, this university life. And please enjoy that, because becoming engineer is one, but becoming a useful citizen and what is be unmasking what is best in you can be done only with interacting with people and also identifying the challenges that you have. They are not insurmountable. They are not extremely difficult ones you to, uh, to pass through. Then there are other issues related to uh, youth. Rahul Adwing in Mahatana. But they are, and also whether you will have a girlfriend. I also had the same problem, but in no quick time, and you <laughs> will find somebody in your life. Of course, may not be in engineering. There are many, because if you look at the university as a whole, 65% um, are females. Am I right, Madhujit? 65%. So if you want, you can have 1.3 girls <laughs> during your stay. So don't worry about And there are plenty in this university. And for you to do all these things, dear boys and girls, and uh, you need to have a balanced life. That is so important. My balanced life can achieve this much. My colleague, my roommate may be able to achieve that much. I'm not worried about it. I should play, I should read, and I should enjoy. You know, I should do all that while reading for my engineering degree. I think that is what your target should be. You must visit uh, your parents and maybe far away, unlike those who are from Kandy, but you enjoy that. And actually, it is an advantage for you to travel, because those who live nearby in Kandy have not seen the world or other country at large. But you have the opportunity. You take a different routes and the trains and all that and you meet people on the bus. And I think those are the advantages you have. So for all that, the time management is important. I think read about time management. I am sure in your soft skills program, time management will be included. Most likely, you will have outbound training. And I was discussing with your dean yesterday. And uh, batch is divided probably into two uh, halves. And uh, you will be spending two days up in Hantana uh, Forest.
health and well-being, both the mental and physical. We know what we need to do to maintain our physical fitness. There are enough opportunities here. And day before yesterday, around 10.45 in the evening or other night, and I saw students playing volleyball. It's well lit, the ground. So I, I, I really like that. And passing the grounds, I experienced this not just once, several times. And then comes the mental well-being. That is also another aspect that we need to be aware of. We all go through stressors. I think if you ask the most stressful man in this audience is the man who is speaking to you right now. But we have to, we have to face all these realities. I understand that I have to face problems. And that itself is the answer to most of the problems. So if you understand your challenges, then you know the challenges come and they go and you settle and, and the life goes on. I think that is, that is how we need to look at, but trying to do all the time correct things. So your mental, men, mental and physical well-being, please declare if you have got any illness, any stresses whatsoever to your academic mentors. And we have got the chief medical officer here, all that. And, and, and it is not a... It is not something you should be shy about. We all go through all these things, and, and whether it's a physical or mental, nothing to hide, and please come out with all those, and then try and get the assistance that your faculty is abundantly providing you. And the final point, uh, dear students, if you understood what your seniors said, and if you understood what I said in English now, and if you can explain the same thing to your colleague who understand little English, and also what your teachers and the others will be talking to you during the course of today, tomorrow, then I think your English language is good enough for you to continue with engineering. But if it is not, if you have not understood, and if you cannot explain to your colleagues of what you hear today and tomorrow, then probably the, one of the most important things for you to invest is in your language. I think engineering, perhaps, um, I have not discussed with uh, your deans and the uh, senior, senior academic staff. For engineering, it may be less of a problem, I don't know. But in thirdly, medicine, if you, if you did not understand and if you cannot relate what you heard today, and then probably that student needs um, some coaching and more studying in English, that is a very good investment because the time you spend on that is for you again. So assess your level of language with your teachers. There will be English test as well, is it to there? And then there you are. And then spend time learning that. And as I said, that is an investment. So with all these things and dear students, uh, while congratulating you for your achievements, if you need any help or to meet the vice chancellor or the deputy vice chancellor every week and i meet two or three students they either give a call to the office and make an appointment or send an email and make an appointment and either you or your parents we give the utmost priority sometime and i cancel the meeting that i have scheduled that i have given to academic staff to accommodate students here we are for you and all the best for your future Thank you, sir. We truly are grateful that you made time to be with us today, it being a Monday morning. We are aware that now, too, you have to run for another meeting. Thank you once again, sir. I wish our new entrants do take the advice you gave them seriously and for their betterment. Ladies and gentlemen, now do welcome the coordinator of your batch E21, Professor Primal Fernando. Sir, please come up on stage to welcome the gathering. Thank you very much. And uh, good morning to everybody. Thank you. And uh, 
Professor Lama Vansa, Vice Chancellor of University of uh, Peradeni. First time thanking to him. So uh, he had thousands of works in the morning, but when we invited him, uh, he gave the priority to us. Thank you, sir. And Professor Terence Majudit, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, University of Peradeni. Dr. Uday Disanayka, the Dean Faculty of Engineering, the deans of other faculties, my fellow staff members, all distinguished invitees. My dear students, on behalf of the Faculty of Engineering, the University of Peradeniya, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the Faculty of Engineering. I'm delighted to see you all here on this wonderful day. So you see that you know wonderful weather outside, typical Peradeniya weather. So there's nothing more than to welcome this kind of you know, nature given to you. After the online orientation program, finally, you are physically here. A special welcome uh, to those who you are on campus for the first time. Today it's remind me my first day in the university, which happened over 30 years ago, exactly 13th of January 1992, well before you were born. By looking your young faces, I believe you also have the same feeling that I had those long years back and still remember everything that happened on my first day. Unlike uh, uh, Professor Lama Wansa, the Vice Chancellor, I want to tell one secret uh, before I start my talk. I found my life partner in the university and hope you will be as fortunate in this highly competitive engineering environment. <laughs> and uh, I believe that you, know, you, you will be successful than me. In my time, we had 350 students. Out of that, we had only 30 girls, but still, I managed to grab that. Exactly. You see that, you know, I put this exact date. So exactly 13, uh, 1992, January. So we met and we started our relationship exactly one year after. So I think that, you know, you will get this opportunity also because, you know, this is the biggest badge, I think, percentage-wise. You know, many girls in engineering faculty, I think, uh, the, the biggest one now. And if not enough, <laughs> and uh, the arts faculty, I think that, you know, yesterday, uh, they started 80% girls, and uh, you have a lot of opportunities. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you will discover many things here not only the life partner, and uh, so many other things. So I was uh, working here 15 years and experience in Peradini University, wonderful university. So uh, very good community, then you will experience those things also. The 80-year-old Peradini University located in most beautiful area on the earth. So 70 hectares spreading over. Uh, the great Mahavali River enriched the beauty of this university. I don't think that you know you will find any beautiful university compared to this. So largest university in Sri Lanka and also the number one university, you know that all rankings. It offers various degrees, disciplines, nine diff uh, different faculties, and also we have student population, 12,500. Uh, big capacity. And also, you see that, you know, all the faculties, 
uh, compared to all other universities. So we have many dental faculties, especially I think that you know many non other universities, and also we have especially wet faculty and medical faculty, nine faculties we have here. It is with the pride that I mentioned University of Peradini has always produced world-class graduates in different fields of studies who are capable of comfortability competing with graduates from anywhere in the world. The engineering degree we offer are internationally accredited, remember that. The namely by the Washington Accord. So the degree that you are getting is a key for any door in the world. So this key is you can open doors not only in Sri Lanka, if you go outside. So this degree, internationally accredited degree, you are going to get after four years. The Faculty of Engineering, University of Peradeniya, is the engineering faculty, first engineering faculty in Sri Lanka. It was founded in 1950 as the fourth faculty and shifted to the present location, Peradeniya, 1964. Very soon we will celebrate our 75th Jubilee, and you will be the fortunate of being part of that. The Faculty of Engineering is with eight departments, namely Chemical and processes, Process Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Engineering, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Engineering Mathematics, Mechanical Engineering, Manufacturing and Industrial Engineering, and uh, Engineering Management. And remember this, they all on the same level. All the departments are equipped with highly qualified staff and various facilities. At the end of the first year, after the second semester exam, you may choose your own pathway, your own department, according to your GP and your wish. Especially remember that the GPA plus with your interest. This is very friendly environment. I think you already saw it. Soon you will find comfortable with everyone. Meet your advisors, mentors, lectures, lecturers, professors to talk about your interest in, in many matters, in person or groups. A faculty board appointed committee headed by me. It's a committee, and remember that you know we have a team behind. Even though you saw me, see me, and we have a big committee, the various ways they are helping to successfully conduct this, uh, you know, the coordinate your batch. Throughout the year, they will help you overcome any problem, and we will discuss with you and anything that happened, you know, anything you want to. So dialogues, so no protest. So we speak each other and all the problems we can solve like that. Last week, the first year team, basically, I called the first year team, successfully completed its mission with E20 batch, the students. Still, the entire country is not completely recovered from the crisis that we faced past few months. You remember that, you know, the problems that we had. So that is in the university also. A special thanks, actually, we should, you know, as the coordinator for E20 batch. We would like to give to, especially, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Terence Madhujit, and our Dean, Faculty of Engineering and also our strong academic and non-academic staff. Without their support, I don't think we would be able to conduct that coordinating these 459 students easily. You see that? So the last batch we had 459, and we have 452 with you. So without student support, basically, we see that you know we have many male students, it's very difficult to coordinate or conduct a, a batch with 
you know, engineering faculty like that. And remember this, I specially mentioned here E20 batch. We did not have any single incident. And also, from Saturday onward, you see that how those guys were supporting us. They were supporting to bring you here, organize those things, especially, uh, I want to mention that engineering student union also. So they cooperate with us very well and support us, and always we have dialogues with them. So thank you very much for those students. And also, especially I want to mention you guys now, you start uh, formally, physically, in the University of Peradeniya from today. So we need your support. Without your support, we cannot do this. Okay. So the engineering faculties, incredibly talented teachers, researchers, will guide you guys. So during this, so a lot of supports they will give you. The greater resource that we ha have, our scholars, so leaders on Many fields, you could see that. So speak to them, get to know them, and talk to them after classes, you know. Remember this one, this is not a tuition class, or school, it's a university. After the class, our lecturers and also professors, they are very happy if you stay and speak with them, and that is in the university. You should argue with us, you should give you ideas, you, you should discuss uh, the things. Ask them about their research, basically, about ideas, experiences especially. So they are ex experts in many fields, and also I'm proudly talking about you know, the, our academic staff. So none of them, many of them graduated from many wealthy countries as well as, you know, the Europe, United States, and so many countries, you know, the experience that they bring from those countries, enormous. Get those experience also. You have come to the engineering faculty of the University of Peradeni. When you stop, step outside the classroom, you discover a campus that is teeming with activities. A student organizations, societies, clubs, athletics, exhibitions, performances, and community services, and media, many other things. And uh, I want to mention you guys another thing. The last year we had this, uh, the freshers meet, an engineering faculty, E20 students, we won the the meet, you know, the athletics and also sports things uh, in, in University of Peradeni. Now, they have raised the bar for certain level. You have a challenge to make it much better uh, in, in this year. The beautiful cultural city of Kandy is your doorstep. The Peradeni Botanical Garden, the Temple of Tooth, and many other places to go and visit. Get out into the city. It is a wonderful place to live, especially young age with a lot of love. And also, wonderful, famous Akbar Bar. Uh, sorry, Akbar Bridge, not the bar. <laughs> so, <laughs> cross that and see the beauty and also get, get to know all other people. And also wonderful sports facility that we have. I don't think that any other university in Sri Lanka has some, something like that. That's the best facility that you would find any university in Sri Lanka. Finally, I would like to mention you one more important thing. This is very, very important. Never forget your aim, which is getting your BSc degree, engineering degree. It is four years, according to new or our plan. So you will complete this little under four years. 
You will complete that in 2027, it is 2023, mid now. You will complete that before. So another important thing I want to know that the entire university community is here to support you. No one is here to against. So we all support you, all lecturers, non-academics, academics, so everybody here to support you. And also other side. So we have the medical facilities, health center, if need health support. And also remember that we will not left anybody with problems, even financially, if you have any financial problems. So this, this concept that having a, a first year coordinator is, you know, making a team, it's quite successfully working now. So your all problems should go through us. Talk to us, anything. The problems can be financially, academically, and maybe personal. Now, the Dean Faculty of Engineering always laughing, I'm not only mentoring students, I'm mentoring parents also now. So they also speak to me, you can give our numbers, and also we can talk to your parents also. So we could not be more thrilled to welcome you to this vibrant learning community. It is you who make us what we are. And we look forward to fresh energy bring out you to the campus. I speak for the entire faculty, staff, and student community of engineering faculty of University of Peradeni. When I say we are so happy you have made the decision to do join with us. Welcome to the Faculty of Engineering. Thank you. See you. Thank you very much, sir. I remember a very wise saying said by one of our dearest professors. An engineer is an uh, artist who sees through the patterns in the universe. So they are a very com uh, so they are a combination of very diverse but very talented set of people. During last few weeks, they have been going through various activities in the online mode. Today, they are going to showcase one output of such activity that they are going to perform for the first time on the, on the stage. So I welcome the en new entrance of the Faculty of Engineering to the stage.
Ladies and gentlemen, do also acknowledge the song that was composed by Johann Sena Naika of the E20, E20 batch and the lyrics by Dr. Janaka Vijay Kulasurya. I believe that they too deserve another round of applause. Real Me is one of the greatest programs that I was a part of being in this faculty. Three years ago, I stepped into this land of wonder, excited, but mostly nervous, I believe like many of you here today. But that feeling of newness to a place lasted only until we were addressed by one of the greatest minds in our faculty. Dr. Janaka Vijay Kulasurya went out of his way and has this time too, to expose each and every one of you to avenues that you would never have thought you would see coming to a faculty that teaches the science of engineering. As much as thought was put into all the activities that y'all underwent in the past 10 weeks, the name Real Me itself carries a lot of meaning. Dear sir, I welcome you to explain to all of us here the four core values that must be followed by an engineering student. Good morning, everyone. See, ma, ma, imnati, mallo rahasi, vihengun se, api, piyabamu ekarayani. In boundless fresh skies, let us take flight, a murmuration's grace, a flock in unified might. I believe that this is the first time new entrants are performing in their own inauguration and I think they had only around uh, one day to practice this uh, as a group. Although they initiated this online, they had only one day to practice this as a whole group. So I think we should really uh, congratulate them for this wonderful performance. And I would like to give them another round of applause for their wonderful performance. Uh, Dr. Uday Disanayaka, Dean, Faculty of Engineering, all the deans and distinguished guests, head of the departments, academic and non-academic staff members, and also the parents who are joining with us physically in the faculty today, as well as those who are at home joining with us online. Uh, and also, my dear, students from the family of Faculty of Engineering. It is indeed a pleasure to see you after around 10 weeks of online activity. And today you are here with a lot of hopes and aspirations and dreams for your future. Uh, over the past 10 weeks, I think we all have embarked on a journey in three different ways. As you are already aware, the foundation program, we like to call it as foundation program, not the orientation program, for a special reason. We wanted you to, uh, we wanted to create the environment so that you will identify yourself rather than getting oriented. Right? There's a slight difference between technical terms. We want you we want you to identify yourself. That's why we call it as real me also. Uh, as you are already aware, our foundation program is built on three strong pillars. First, the English foundation program, then the FIT program. Right? I think Hiroshini has put that name FIT. <laughs> it's a well deserving name, foundation in IT, but it is making you fit with the modern world as well. And then we have the Realme program, which stands for 
recreation, engineering, aesthetics, leadership, uh, mathematics for excellence. Right? But that is the surface meaning. So I will try to give you a bit more understanding what is this real me really means and also what, are, what is the significance of all these three programs. As you are uh, already aware, all our academic programs in Faculty of Engineering are conducted in English medium. So, basically, the foundation in English will help you to follow that course successfully. But, that is not the sole objective of improving your language skills. One of the main advantage of improving your language skills is it will open a wide door for you to the world where you can acquire a lot of knowledge and the next level of knowledge is the wisdom. I know, uh, I hope that you know the difference between what is knowledge and wisdom. So using a language or if you know more and more language, it will open the door to more and more uh, knowledge and wisdom. But especially, English play a vital role in your life because internationally that is the most used language at the moment. Not only that, English will help you to bri bridge between diverse cultures and traditions because many of your friends here, some of them can't speak Sinhala, some of you can't speak Tamil, but English can be used as a bridge. So I invite you to always use the language to, even if you don't feel comfortable, use it to bridge this gap. That is the most important thing I see in a language. So uh, I think you all have were inspired by uh, Ms. Suma Karnarathan and their team. They have, you have a very friendly staff there. And you can go to them all the time if you find difficulties. For example, I am today here speaking without any fear in front of you, thanks to them, because even when I went to third day, I had a problem in uh, speaking in English. Although I could write and read, I was afraid to speak in English. Then I went to English language teaching, teaching unit, and then the head was uh, <coughs> Mrs. Uh, Lalita Gunawardena. She asked some, of, uh, some students like me to come there during free period, and she asked us to quarrel with each other in English. So with that, we improved our English uh, talent a lot. And also, we were not afraid. So we learned it. So I think you can go to them always and get their help and improve it, rather than always trying to be in your comfort zone, speaking in your native languages. Then uh, the FIT program. The foundation in inf information technology is developed to uh, enhance another essential skill because in the faculty also, at the moment, I think almost all the courses are using information technology, even a small part. So learning skills in IT will help you. Not only that, I know now, this is a time where a lot of economic crisis is there, and I know there are a lot of students who are uh, developing various IT apps online, doing some part-time jobs, and earning some money also. Right? <laughs> I can say even some of you, they might know, one of them are behind the stage also here, <laughs> earning a lot. Right? They have their own companies. So that is something, and uh, Ms. Hiroshini Ratnapala and their team led by uh, Dr. Chamila Vargampa in the computing center of the faculty are also very helpful staff. They will always help you. And also I am pretty sure that uh, the faculty can witness the harvest of what they have been doing last few weeks because they are going to have a symposium, right? So I invite all the staff members to attend that and see what they are capable of. Because last day I had the chance to attend that and it was one of the wonderful experience. 
Right. Then come into the Realme program. Uh, sorry. In the Realme program, although the surface meaning is recreation, engineering, uh, aesthetic, leadership, and uh, mathematics for excellence, which are integral part of an engineering education system, it has another objective. Um, it is a well-known fact that engineers have played a pivotal role in building the civilization. Uh, however, let me share a, a poignant excerpt from a letter written by a survivor of a Nazi camp. He has written, my dear, he was writing, according to this story, it was believed that uh, he was writing to his teacher, my dear teacher, I am a survivor of a concentration camp. My eyes witness what no person should ever see, gas chambers built by learned engineers. Right? Children poisoned by educated physicians. Infants killed by trained nurses. And women and babies shot by high school and college graduates. So my dear teacher, I am suspicious of education. My request is this, help your children become human. Your efforts must never produce learned monsters. We don't have to make daksha yakshayan, right? Learned monsters. Skilled psychopaths or educated Eichmann. Reading, writing, and arithmetic are important only if they serve to make our children more human. So one of the main objective of this Realme program is to promote this humane engineering. In Faculty of Engineering, University of Peradeniya, we firmly believe that creating mere engineers is not enough. Right? So all the essence of this Realme program is included in your theme song. So I will quickly go through each verse and because that, that I think it is very important. Because especially for Tamil speaking student, they couldn't sometimes, due to language problem, they couldn't follow. But I'm really happy that this time one student volunteered and translated this song into Tamil language. So soon we are going to produce that also. So it starts with Nagena Ginyo Hadana Hadapatuli, Unuhuma Danuna Hadatama, Susuma Kahanga, Evana Oe Kandulu, Netuaga Temua. No denimo. Horror ahasi, usula duk, so gini mahapolo wagi. So this shows that most of us are having, going through a lot of dark patches in life. Sometimes we don't show them. If you fail to acknowledge how your roommate or batchmates or anyone, right, around you feels, your worth as a human being may be called into question. Sometimes people may not openly express because sometimes they may laugh or smile with you, but inside they are burning. So they usually don't come in words. We have to know how to feel. Right? And it is because of friends like that, most of us are alive today. So I really request to be uh, sensitive to others. So sensitivity is the first verse. Second verse talks about be a result to a deserted land. It encourages you to uh, a parched land, or be a result to the parched land, or the infectious smile of a baby. Why, what do you mean by infectious smile of a ba baby? It is always genuine. You are not helping people uh, except expecting another thing in return. That's why baby smile, they always call it a genuine, only genuine smile in the world. So try to be genuine like that. And also, let us try to release this feeling. Some of us always try to keep this feeling inside us, release them. And the most important thing is, apata ahimu apoma yalitsoya. We all have lost ourselves in this process of, especially education, I blame education. 
Sometimes we lose ourselves within that. So try to search ourselves. And third verse is the most important thing. Kaluvara nathikala eliyakvaga vedu. It questions the value of light without darkness or the winning without defeat. Yes, we all experience dark times in our lives. But it is crucial to keep sight of the light at the end of the tunnel. And preserve instead of subcoming to this darkness. Most of us try to get defeated by the darkness. But if you withstand that, if you have the courage to withstand that, I think surely you will see the light. And also think about how a river becomes beautiful when it flows through uh, obstacles. Right? Nobody say that river in uh, something like Trinko area is beautiful, but if you go to Kitulgala, that area, you say river is beautiful. Why? It is going through a lot of obstacles. And all the obstacles in your life will give some strength to you if you correctly manage that. Uh, then katu enena depase maga ada sipagamu pa senehi. Na metan me kyan me katu ina paara ke indala kiskaran ne kila nehi. Me kabi mang gatte attar ma ratna Sri Vijay Singh kaviya ke kavi po dekhi. Ada me me katu sipagamu heta mal pipila suan devai. So uh, it urges urges you to embrace the thorn to thorns today so that the fragrance of flowers will reach you in future. So as I uh, mentioned at the beginning of my speech, the verse of the song says, See mama in nati malla rahasi, vihangun se api piyamukakrani. In the boundless fresh skies, let us take flight, a murmuration grace, a flock in unified might. So my dear students, let us work together as a flock of birds soaring through the skies. Remember, it is those birds that dare to fail are the birds who ultimately learn to fly. So during the next few weeks, we will embark on a journey together. We will explore the realm of knowledge, develop our skills, and nurture the values that make us not just engineers. As I mentioned, we want you to be more humane. So there are a lot of programs in the faculty which will take you towards that direction. Uh, so to E21 Batch, welcome to our family and embrace this opportunity to grow, learn, and discover the hero within you. Because our, one of our motto also says, unleash the hero within. And what is the main motto? Yes? What is the motto of the Real Me program? I can't hear. Loudly. <laughs> Excellent, right? Be yourself. Because we all are unique, and this world needs diverse people to make it more beautiful. Uh, also, I owe a big thank to all the senior batches who have been helping here. Yesterday also, they were waiting here towards night and balancing sounds and doing all the technical things, as well as organizing the registration process. Uh, so thank you to them. And also thank you all for gracing this occasion. It is those birds that dare to fall that ultimately learn to fly. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, sir. The Faculty of Engineering has been a very prominent faculty in University of Peradeniya throughout its, uh, the history of the uh, uh, past several years. So this has been there because of the leader of our community. So this humble request is goes towards our Dean of Engineering Faculty, Dr. Uday Disanayaka, sir, uh, to address the gatherings.
very good morning to all of you. Um, it's a great pleasure to see the Yoi Pereira Theatre is uh, full with new entrants to the faculty. So this visualizes the uh, thinking of Professor Yoi Pereira, who was the first dean of this faculty and also the father of engineering education in Sri Lanka, when the number of students are less than 100, he thought of a theater where 550 people can accommodate. So at, I would like to uh, uh, all of you to think about the visionary of that leader. Um, this, uh, um, my dear uh, deans of other faculties, uh, head of the departments, and uh, other staff members from the faculty, um, Chief Marshal, uh, Chief Medical Officer was here sometimes back, and uh, uh, members of the organizing committee, uh, Professor Primal Fernando, um, Dr. Janaka Vijaykula Surya, and uh, Dr. Nadish Adasurya, who are not strangers to all of you because during the last uh, 10 weeks, uh, you have been very closely associating with them. And uh, then the other staff members of the faculty, uh, AR Engineering, SAB Engineering, and uh, students, uh, uh, president of the engineering uh, student union, and uh, my dear students, and also uh, proud parents uh, who are connecting to us uh, via uh, online. Uh, I think a lot of ideas were expressed uh, in this audience. Mm, I think uh, all of you are, today is a memorable day to you because uh, this is the culmination of a lifelong uh, dream you had during the last 18, 20 years. But I know that uh, all of you are excited now. Uh, if I tell a lot of things, I am sure very few will go into your mind. So I will uh, bring your attention only to two points. Hmm? I want you to think about two points. Uh, first one is uh, due to a very unfortunate incident which happened at the faculty during the last uh, one and a half years. So there is a misconception with the students that the BSc engineering degree program is very difficult. Right? So I will uh, briefly tell you the results of last two batches. Uh, so this is the uh, results of uh, last convocation held in May 2023. We had 61 first classes, 130 uppers, 109 lowers, and 105 merit process, right? And then if you go to the uh, results of the batch before, that is August of 2022, we had 35 first classes, 123 uppers, 112 lowers, and 94 merits, right? So if you, I calculated the percentage, so you can see that out of the batch, 40, more than 40% 40 of students get first classes or second upper, right? And the dropout rate is less than 2%, right? So now I think you have enough uh, thinking power to see whether a, 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 a degree program which gives results like that, whether it is difficult or otherwise. So I have uh, five, four deans here uh, from uh, management faculty, faculty of veterinary medicine, 
science faculty and dental faculty. So I am sure that the the results of those faculties are not like that. I don't think you have 50%, uh, 40% first classes and uppers, right? So engineering is, all right, so that is a, please think about that, right? And the second one is uh, e we spend more than 1 million, hmm? more than 1 million rupees for each one of you per year to give this education. Right. So if I, if you calculate quickly, for 455 students, for four years, we spend 1,820 million. Hmm? So I am telling it again. During to for to graduate you with a B.Sc. honors degree, we spend near uh, 1,800 million close to 2 billion rupees, right? So that is an enormous amount of money, right? So which is given from the public of this country, right? So therefore, please be considerate of that money. And now the, the best thing, now according to the faculty calendar, right? So today uh, you, you will be graduating on 2nd July, 2027, hmm? Dr. Professor Primal's calculation is little bit tired. Huh? So that means you entered in May 2023, and you will graduate in four years and three months. Right? So Professor Primal is working very hard even to reduce that three months and make sure that all of you will graduate in four years' time. So please make your brain don't go uh, behind the thinking of the other people, right? But make your independent decision and have a very fruitful life here. So this is a wonderful place. And I don't think uh, you are very, very fortunate to come here for the engineering degree. So all of us are behind you to give the fullest support from our end. So with that, I will conclude my speech. And I wish you uh, all the very best at Faculty of Engineering. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. University of Peradeniya has been the pioneers in creating eminent personalities to the world as well as the nation. Continuing its history throughout the um, years of the Peradeniya University, there has been a lot of landmarks, a lot of key points, which the engineering faculty has been contributed towards its uh, proud history. So today, we are also going to witness another historic moment that we have embarked on the way of our journey. The Institute of Engineers, Sri Lanka, organized an all-island debate competition, university debate competition, for the first time in the history. And I'm very much proud and honored here to announce you that the team of Peradeniya University became the champions of the first ever debate competition which was uh, organized by the Institute of Engineers Sri Lanka. So today, we are going to celebrate and give the recommendation, the recognition of these amazing young individuals. So for that, I would like to invite, cordially invite, the Dean of our faculty, Dr. Uday Disanayake, and also to assist him, I would cordially invite Dr. Prima, Professor Prima Fernando to the stage. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been a very, very hectic, very challenging, very competition journey throughout a couple of months in the past year, because uh, all the nine universities um, from Sri Lanka 
who has an engineering faculty took part in this event. The very best of them are of their universities and our team was able to grab this champion of this debate competition. So first of all, I would like to invite our dearest members of the team, Ms. Netmit Atsarani, to the stage to get the token of appreciation. <laughs> Ms. Chatumi Vijayapala, a member of the team, debating team. Also, Mr. De Denuka Jayavira, Mr. J. Denuka Jayavira and Mr. Pasindu Karunanayaka. And ladies and gentlemen, not only that, not only did we emerge the champion, we grabbed a set of individual awards to ourselves as well. So I would like to invite the member of uh, a team, member of University of Peradina team, Mr. Akita Patirana, to receive the token of appreciation. He was awarded with the best speaker of the final match as well as the best speaker of the tournament. And now I would like to most proudly and humbly invite none other than the captain of the university debating team, Ms. Sadia Jamil, to receive the champion's trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Saadia Jamil, the captain of the university debating team for the engineering faculty who represented us in the inter-university inter debating competition and won the champions at the recently concluded debating competition which was conducted by Institute of Engineers, Sri Lanka. Let's give them a big round of applause for this momentous occasion and for this mammoth achievement for bringing, bringing the glory to University of Peradeniya. Thank you, everyone. Your senior batch, amidst preparing for a crucial exam of theirs, have planned and practiced to perform to you something that we don't even know about, meant to be a surprise, I suppose. Girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the E20 batch.
C'est quoi C'est quoi Check one, check one, two, three, check. Iti hati yelo, aja halo no asu sevake. Obe hamu zui, kore gadu matete nake. Ei hama dewa, sihi vendi hitate dukai. Ape hamu zui. Kiya 
Ladies and gentlemen, my dear brothers and sisters, the E20 batch of Faculty of Engineering, give them another big round of applause for the amazing performance on today. And now I would like to cordially invite the President of the Engineering Faculty Students Union, Mr. Dinuka Disanayaka, to address you all. Peradini Vishwidyale, Engineer Pite, Pita Dipati, Acharya, Ude Disanayaka Matitumani, Eva Gamer, Engineer Pite, Acharya Mandale, Acharya Tumanga, Acharya Tumang Atulu, Adadine, the Suiseshi, Vasrakandayam Vana, Evisaker, Vasrakandayam Pramuka, Engineer Pite, Suasaraka, Mage Madaraniya, Saudaria, Saudaria. Pravesha Ganimata Pere, Api Matakaragamu, Oba, may we should the later Pamini Meta Pere, Oba Upan Varshe di, may Sri Lanka Tula, Kataram Darwan Pramaniak, Ipadin at Atid, a Darwan Atarin, Kotaram Pirisakata, Pasal Adiapane, Leben at Atid, a Ayagang, Kotaram Pramaniakata, Pahavas Redi, Shishat Vibhage, Samati Meta Leben at ඒ සමත් වෙච්ච ප්‍රතිශතයෙන් කොයිතරම් ප්‍රමාණයක් අපොස සාමාන්‍ය පෙළ විභාගයේ සමත් වෙන්නේ නැතිද ඒ සමත් වෙච්ච ප්‍රමාණයෙනුත් කොයිතරම් ප්‍රතිශතයකට අපොස උසස් පෙළ සඳහා භෞතික විද්‍යා විෂය ධාරාව හදාරන්නට අවස්ථාව ලැබෙන්නේ නැතිද ඒ අවස්ථාව ලද පිරිසෙනුත් කොයිතරම් ප්‍රමාණයකට විශ්වවිද්‍යාල වරම් ලබන්නට අවස්ථාව ලැබෙන්නේ නැතිද a Vishuidia Varam Labimata Samata Aturunut, Koitaram Pramaniak, Engineer Peter Valeta, Teri Patanatid. A Engineer Peter Valeta, Teri Patunu Aiginut, Koitaram Pramaniakata, Sri Lankawe, Pramukatama, Evagema, Sundartama, Vishuidia Levena, Peradini Vishuidia, Engineer Peter Samatanata, A Mul Kulakain, Kutaram U Kuda Pirisakata, Avastava, Labinata Atid. Say now, E. Itam Alpo Avastava, Labaganata, Vasana Valada, Oba Siludena, Peradini Vishwidiale, Engineer Peter, Itamat Adar in Yuktava, Pratame, Engineer Peter Venuin, Engineer Peter Shisha Sanga Venuin, Itamat Sahodarat Makava, Piligan Labana. Praveshak Labaganimata Ma Katakala Karunu Tulama Tibenava Oba Metatheta Paminimata 
කොතරම් තරඟකාරී වටපිටාවකට ඔබ මූණ දී ඇද්ද යන්න ඒ තරඟකාරී අධ්‍යන රටාව තුල ඔබට ඔබ අහිමි වෙච්ච වාර අනන්තවත් ඇති මොකද ඒ ඔබ කරන කැප කිරීම් තුලම තමයි ඒ අල්ප වූ අවස්ථාව ඒ අල්ප වූ අවස්ථාව ලබාගෙන පේරාදිනී විශ්වවිද්‍යාලය වැනි විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයකට එයිනුත් ඉංජිනේරු පීඨයට සම්බන්ධ වීමට ඔබට අවස්ථාව ලැබෙන්නේ ඉතින් ඔබ මතක් කළ ගත යුතු කාරණාව තමයි ඔබ මේ අවස්ථාවට සම්බන්ධ වීමට නැත්නම් මේ වරම මේ භාග්‍යවන්ත වූ අවස්ථාව ලබා ගැනීම තුල ඔබ දැඩි තරඟකාරී අධ්‍යන රටාවක තුල විශේෂ කැප කිරීම් කරපු පිරිසක් අපි මතු කර ගත යුතු කාරණාව තමයි 13 වසරක පාසල් ජීවිතය තුල අපි එලෙස කැප කිරීම් කළත් ඔබ මේ පැමිණ සිටින්නේ විශ්ව විද්‍යාලයකට විශ්ව විද්‍යාලයෙන් පසු ඔබ කෙලින්ම එළඹෙන්නේ බාහිර සමාජයට පාසල් ජීවිතය සහ විශ්ව විද්‍යාල ජීවිතය අතර යම් කිසි වූ ඉදතක් හිදසක් තිබුණත් ඔබ කෙලින්ම විවෘත වන්නේ මෙතනින් පසු කෙලින්ම මේ තියෙන ප්‍රධාන සමාජයට එසේ නම් අපට අවස්ථාව ලබා ගත යුතුව තිබෙනවා ඒ තරඟකාරී අධ්‍යාපන රටාව තුල අපව චින්තන කොටසකට හිර කර තිබුණත් මෙයින් මතු එලියට යන සමාජයට ඔබට ඉංජිනේරුවෙක් වගේම මිනිස්සෙක් දායාද කිරීමට මිනිස්ස ලෙසමින් ඉවත් වී යාමට අදිටන ඔබ තුල යුතුව ඔබ තුල තිබිය යුතුව තිබෙනවා ඉතින් මේ ආකාරයට ඔබ ඉංජිනේරු පීඨයට සම්බන්ධ වීම තුල ඔබ තුල තිබිය යුතුයි ශ්‍රී ලංකාව තුල පාසල් අධ්‍යාපනය ලැබූ ශිෂ්‍යෙක් ලෙස ඔබට ලැබෙන්නට ඇති අනර්ගතම අවස්ථාව ඔබ පේරාදෙණිය විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ඉංජිනේරු පීඨයට සම්බන්ධ වීම තුල ඔබට ලැබී තිබෙනවා මොකද ඉංජිනේරයෙකුට වඩා එහා ගිය වඩා මානව සම්බන්ධතා වලින් පිරිපුන් වඩා හොඳ මිනිස්සෙක් බිහි කිරීමට අවශ්‍ය වටපිටාව අවශ්‍ය පසුබිම පේරාදෙණිය විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ඉංජිනේරු පීඨය තුල තිබෙන බවට ඔබ තුලට අවශ්‍ය සහතිකයක් ලබා දීමේ හැකියාව අපිට තිබෙනවා මොකද අපි මේ තුල අත්පත් කරගත්තා වූ දේවල් උගත් වූ දේවල් තුල අපිට එය ඔබටත් ලැබිය හැකි කියන විශ්වාසය ලබා දිය හැකි ඒ වගේම තමයි අපි මෙතනදී අදහස් දැක්වීමත් කරගත්තා පේරාදිනිය විශ්වවිද්‍යාලය තුලට එළඹීම තුලින් ඔබට කොතරම් අවස්ථාවක් හිමි වෙලා තියෙනවද කියන කාරණාව ඒ තරම් අනර්ගයි කියන කාරණාවත් අපි මතු කරගත්තා ඔබ මේ පීඨයට මේ විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයට සම්බන්ධ වීම තුල වඩා හොඳ ඉංජිනේරුවෙකු බිහි වෙනවාටත් වඩා එහා ගිය වඩා හොඳ මිනිස්සයෙකු බිහි වීමට අවශ්‍ය අන්තර් පුද්ගල සම්බන්ධතා ඇති කර ගැනීමට අවශ්‍ය වටපිටාව කෙබඳුද යන්න පිළිබඳ යම් කිසි වචන ස්වල්පයක් හෝ අදහස් ප්‍රමාණයක් ඔබට එක් කරන්න සහ එතුල පෙරාදිනි විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ඉංජිනේරු පීඨයේ දායකත්වය කොහොමද කියන එක තුලත් යම් කිසි අදහස් ප්‍රමාණයක් හදාගමු පෙරාදිනි විශ්වවිද්‍යාලය තුල පැවැත්වෙනවා රාජ්‍ය සාහිත්‍ය උල්ලට පමණක් දෙවැනි වන මාගේ දේශයේ අවදි කරනු මැන ශිෂ්‍ය සාහිත්‍ය උළෙල අපි දන්නවා මේ විශ්වවිද්‍යාලය තුල මෑතකදීත් ඔබට දකින්නට ලැබෙන්නේ නැති විවිධ පීඨ මගින් විවිධ කණ්ඩායම් වගින් අපි දන්නවා විවිධ ප්‍රසංග එහෙම නැත්නම් ෂෝ සංවිධානය කරනවා එක්තරා පීඨයක් තියෙනවා ඒ පීඨය ෂෝ එකක් සංවිධානය කරලා අපි දන්නවා කොතරම් පරිශ්‍රමයක් ඒ තුලට දැරිය යුතුයද කියන කාරණාව එක්තරා පීඨයක් මේ විශ්වවිද්‍යාලය තුල තියෙනවා සම්පූර්ණම නොමිලේ තමයි මේ ෂෝ එක සංවිධානය කරන්නේ ඒ ෂෝ එක වසන්තේ යග සංවිධානය කරන්නේ පේරාදෙණිය විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ඉංජිනේරු පීඨය ඒ වගේම ඒ ශිෂ්‍ය සාහිත්‍ය උළෙල තුල තිබෙනවා ශාන්ත බණ්ඩාර අනුස්මරණ විවාද තරංගාවලිය එක්තරා පීඨයක් ඉන්නවා අකණ්ඩව සෑම වසරකම මෙන්න මේ විවාද තරංගය ජයග්‍රහණය කරන ඒ පීඨය තමයි පේරාදෙණිය විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ඉංජිනේරු පීඨය ඒ වගේම මුල් කතා තුළ ප්‍රවේශයක් ලබා ගත්තා පේරාදෙණිය විශ්වවිද්‍යාලය තුළ පැවැත්වෙනවා නවකින්ගේ ක්‍රීඩා උළෙල එක්තරා පීඨයක් තියෙනවා වැඩිම වාර ගණනක් එම නවකීන්ගේ ක්‍රීඩා උළෙල ජයග්‍රහණය කරන ඒ තමයි පේරාදෙණිය විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ඉංජිනේරු පීඨය ඒ වගේම තමයි ඔබ දන්නවා සමාජ මාධ්‍ය ජාලා ඔස්සේ හෝ වෙනත් කාරණා ඔස්සේ මේ පීඨ එහෙම නැත්නම් විශ්වවිද්‍යාල මගින් 
විවිධ වූ සමාජ සත්කාර වැඩසටහන් සංවිධානය කරනු ලබනවා අපි දැකලා තියෙනවා ඕනෑ තරම් එතකොට ගත්ත සම්මන්ත්‍රණ මාලා එහෙම නැත්තම් උපකාරක අවස්ථා නැත්තම් යටිතල පහසුකම් දියුණු කිරීම මේ වගේ වැඩ සිද්ධ වෙනවා එක්තරා පීඩයක් ඉන්නවා මධ්‍යස්ථාන 54ක් තුල අපොස සාමාන්‍ය පෙළ විභාගයේ සඳහා 10 වසරට ශිෂ්‍යයන් ඇතුළත් වූ දවසේ සිට ඒ අය අපොස සාමාන්‍ය පෙළ විභාගයේ ලියන තුරුම ඒ අයට අවශ්‍ය ගණිතය විද්‍යාව ඉංග්‍රීසි සහ තොරතුරු තාක්ෂණ වේද යන විෂය ධාරාවන් ඒ අය 10 වසරට ඇතුළත් වූ දා පටම්ම 11 වසර දක්වාම මේ අධ්‍යාපනය ලබා දීලා ඒ අයට සාමාන්‍ය පෙළ සඳහා වඩා හොඳින් මුහුණ දීමට අවශ්‍ය වටපිටාව සකස් කරන අර එක් එක් සම්මන්ත්‍රණයක් හෝ එක් සම්මන්ත්‍රණයකින් නවත්වන්නේ නැතුව ඒ වගේ අර අකණ්ඩව අධ්‍යාපනය නැත්නම් ගුරුවරේගේ භූමිකාව කරලා ඒ සමාජ සත්කාර වැඩසටහන කරන ඒ පේරාදිනී විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ඉංජිනේරු පීඨයේ අරුණැල්ල සමාජ සත්කාර වැඩසටහන එතකොට ඔබට මේ තුල දකින්නට පුළුවන් ඔබගේ අධ්‍යන කටයුතු වගේම පේරාදිනී විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ඉංජිනේරු පීඨයේ විදිහට ඔබට කෙතරම් දායකත්වයක් මේ පොදු ක්‍රියාවලිය තුලට දායකත්වය දැක්වීමට ඇති දෙයන කාරණාව ඒ නිසා ඔබ අදිටන් කළ යුතු යුතු කාරණාව තමයි ඔබ අර මම මුල් ප්‍රවේශය කරගත්තා වගේ 13 වසරකට අධික දැවැන්ත පීඩාකාරි අධ්‍යන රටාවකට පස්සේ පේරාදිනී විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ඉංජිනේරු පීඨයටත් එළඹිලා ඒ තුල ඉංජිනේරු එක් විදිහට ඔබට ලබා ගත හැකි ඔබට ලබා දිය හැකි උපරිම දායකත්වයේ පීඨය තුලින් ලබාගෙන වඩා හොඳ ඉංජිනේරු එක් නිර්මාණය වෙනවා වගේම වඩා හොඳ මිනිස්සු එක් නිර්මාණය වීමට අවශ්‍ය වටපිටාව පේරාදිනී විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ තුල කෙතරම් අවුද ඔබට අවස්ථාව ලබා ඇති ලබා තිබේ දෙන කාරණාව ඒ නිසා ඔබට අදිටන් කළ යුතු යුතු කාරණාව තමයි ඔබ පේරාදිනී විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේත් මේ ඇතුල් වෙලා තියෙන පීඨය අනිකුත් පීඨවලට එහා ගිය පීඨය තුල ඇති වගකීම් ප්‍රමාණයේ ආකාරයෙන් ඉෂ්ට කළ යුතු ඊටමත් වැදගත් භූමිකාවක් ඔබ තුළව ගැබ්බ තිබෙනවා වෙරි ගුඩ් මෝනින් ටු එවරි වන් වන්ස් අගේන් I thought of summarize what I said in uh, Sinhala as there are uh, people who don't speak Sinhala. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, congratulate all of uh, congratulate all of all of you being able to become part of this amazing institution of sri lanka faculty of engineering university of peradeniya you have come here after the stressful competitive school life but this is an a uh, university it is time to keep that competition aside and you have to work together as a unity it will helpful for each and every one's overcome challenges in this university life and achieve success there are many opportunities to find yourself as mentioned earlier be yourself we consider ourselves as links to a golden chain which is strength by unity you will be the newest link of this golden chain i would like to wish you all the strength to strength the golden chain with unity and brotherhood tavasan washen obata matak kala yutu karnawa thamai adaraniya sahodarini sahodariya obata peradiniya vishwavidyalaya engineer peeteta sambandha wima oba tula u jayagrahanayak karagannawa wagema oba me tulin laba gata haki sielu dayakatwaya laba ganimin e wagema අද අපිට මුල් කතාවලත් ප්‍රවේශයක් ලබා ගත්තා වගේ ඔබ ඔබවම සොයා ගැනීම තුලින් වඩා හොඳ ඉංජිනේරුවෙක් වගේම වඩා හොඳ මිනිස්සෙක් වීමට අදාළ කරන වටපිටාව සකසා ගැනීම තුලින් වඩා යහපත් සමාජයක් නිර්මාණය කර ගැනීමට ඔබට දක්වා ගැහැකි දායකත්වය ලබා දීමෙන් පේරාදෙණී විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ඉංජිනේරු පීඨය අභිමානය ඉදිරියට රැගෙන යාමට ඔබ වසර කණ්ඩායම් මත් කටයුතු කිරීමේ ඇති බලාපොරොත්තු වී යුතුව මම නිහඬ වෙනවා ඔබ සමට ස්තුතියි
Thank you, Dinuka. True friends are never apart, maybe in distance, but certainly not at heart. The next item, a music video, is on the life of Campus on Pera, performed by the 18 and 19 batches. Enjoy.
didn't support and leadership paved the way to success of this very event. My heartfelt gratitude to you, sir. Also, on behalf of the faculty, I wish to thank all the deans of the other faculties, registrar, bursa, librarian of the university, who were present today here with us. Further, I want to express my gratitude to the chief medical officer and, uh, and her team, Director Capsu and her team, Chief Marshall, Marshall, Director Accommodation, and Chief Security Officer of the University. I thank all the heads of the departments of the faculty, uh, Assistant Registrar, Ms. Nilanjani Rajapaksha, and her staff, uh, and uh, supporting us in various ways to run the foundation program as smoothly as possible. As uh, Dr. Janaka mentioned, our uh, foundation program consists of three main uh, elements, which are namely Foundation IT, uh, conducted by Ms. Roshani Ratnapala and her team, and uh, English program uh, delivered by Ms. Uma Karnaratna and her team, and uh, of course, Realme program is coordinated by uh, Dr. Janaka Vijay Kulasuriam. So I want to express my sincere gratitude for the enormous effort they have been putting on to make uh, the foundation program success. And as you know, up to now, we have completed almost 10 weeks of online uh, flat, uh, uh, foundation program on an online platform, and only a couple of uh, sessions left before we start the formal academic program. Uh, and, uh, and also, I want to express my Sincere gratitude to all the resource personnel who delivered various online activities for the foundation program. Also, I want to convey my sincere gratitude to the all volunteer members from the academic staff of the faculty, especially uh, E21 batch coordinator, Professor Primal Pranando, and Professor Kushan, Dr. Ruan Ranavira, uh, Dr. Chaturani, uh, for, and many more for your time and commitment. Also, a special thanks goes to volunteer mentors from the academic staff of the faculty who have been guiding new interns and helping them to have a smooth transition from high school to the uh, university academic system. And I want to thank today's compeers as well, uh, Ms. Sadia and Mr. Sahan, for doing an excellent job in comparing, and of course, to Dr. Mahanama Vikramasinghe for the guidance and support. I would like to mention the support given by the university level and faculty level audiovisual teams to air this event online today. At last, but not least, my gratitude goes to the E21, E20 batch immediate senior group who volunteered in different capacities to make this event successful. Thank you very much and have a pleasant day. Thanks. Thank you very much, Dr. Nadish Adasuriya, sir, who has won a um, lifetime award at CV, uh, CVD, CVCD Excellence Award recently at 2022. Um, these are the doctors that we have blessed with in our faculty. So give an another round of applause for Dr. Nadish Adasuriya, sir. Right. So. Um, Little by little, we have come to the end of our today's in, um, inauguration ceremony. So before you go, let's embrace this moment with open arms and open minds. Let the journey of lifetime begin as we inaugurate the new batch of for the Faculty of Engineering. May the bonds formed here, enduring the knowledge gained be transformative and the memories created cherished forever. Once again, congratulations to all of you incoming students. And thank you to everyone else who have joined us today to witness the start of a remarkable journey in their lives chapter. Together, let us embark on this extraordinary voyage of discovery and growth. Thank you.
Right. Um, so now, uh, please, all the students from batch of 21, please stay, remain seated. Um, all, once the, all the guests, of, uh, guests are leave, you may be, you may um, followed by your seniors from batch of 20 uh, to your necessary locations.